In order to unlock the blueprints you need to not only survive, but complete the game or build a base, you're going to need to wreck dive. Today, I'm going to show you five locations that even new players that don't even have a depth module for their Seamoth can get to. Hello everybody, I'm Granddaddy Gamer. Today, we're going to be going over five locations that you can get to in your Seamoth 100 meters or just below. So we're gonna start at zero point. Now, if you do not have access to your zero point, go ahead and look at the starter guide that I'm gonna put on the screen right now. I will show you exactly how to find your zero point. So the first location we're gonna be going to is due south. So on our compass, we're gonna turn from at zero point, we're gonna go straight south. We're gonna go about 600 meters away. We are, of course, going to need a few tools we will need a Seamoth. You do not need your Mark I depth module. A rebreather and a high capacity tank are advisable, but not needed, but highly advisable. A laser cutter is required. A repair tool will be needed. And a flashlight if you'd like to see. I will not break away so that you guys can follow along more easy. we find this wreck in the grassy plateaus. And as you can see, we're at about 89 depth. There is a number of wreckage that I can see just off the top, including mobile vehicle bay fragments and battery chargers. The next wreck we're going to be looking at is actually in the northwest mushroom forest and it's about a thousand meters away and we're going to be going one click to the right of northwest. Once again, I will not cut away and honestly, this one's fairly safe and it's pretty high up. It, I don't, it doesn't go below a hundred meters. In the Northwest Mushroom Forest, you can find fragments like the Modification Station, the Moon Pool, the Hull Fragments for the Cyclops, the Bridge Fragments for the Cyclops, Shale, and all kinds of really great stuff. As we go through the grassy plateaus, Everything starts to fall down like this. We're still going northwest. In the distance here, we can see it to start spawn in. And as you can see, we're about 110 meters down in the water. If we turn around to phase zero point, we're just over a thousand meters away and the compass will point about one click to the right of southeast. The next wreck we'll be looking at is about 600 meters away from zero point and we'll be going one click to the right one click to the left, pardon me, of Northeast. As I've spoken before in several guides, wreck diving is very dangerous and it is easy to get turned around. I advise bringing a rebreather and at least an ultra high capacity tank. This is Rec 3. Rec 4 is due west. 
It's about 650 meters away from zero point and about 80 meters down. Once again, don't forget to stop for resources on your way through the grassy plateaus where you can find sandstone, salt, all kinds of really great things. I will give you a word of caution on this one. This one is quite twisty and turny and can go quite deep and it is extremely easy to get turned around in this one. You may want to consider bringing an extra oxygen tank. If you bring an extra oxygen tank in your inventory, make sure you go somewhere where there is oxygen and equip both of them to fill them up. When you equip the second one, it will not give you the whole amount of oxygen, but it will give you a portion of that oxygen and should allow you to get out safely. A rebreather here is key. You will need it. Location five is about 530 meters away. It's 100 meters in depth down and it's southwest west, about two clicks to the right of southwest. To gain access to this wreck, you will need your laser cutter. Notice the black marks on the door. You will need to cut that door in order to gain access. The last place we're gonna look at isn't a wreck, but it is a really good place to go early game. There's a lot of needed materials here like magnetite, multi-purpose room, ultra high capacity tank, water filtration unit, and that is the Jelly Shroom Caves. From zero point, we're just going due south through the safe shallows and the kelp forest. You will need the Mark I depth module for your Seamoth, and you can get that from the Aurora. I will leave a complete detailed walkthrough of the Aurora and how to acquire that as well as other things in the description below. When it drops off like this, at the grassy plateaus at the base of the cliff, we need to find a particular hole, particular shape. Now there's a lot of different holes that lead into the jelly shroom caves, but we're looking for a particular one because this will drop us directly above the Degassi base. Just follow along the edge of the cliff like this. And right here, we're looking for this particular shape right here. Once you find it, just go ahead and go down inside. This is the Jelly Shroom Cave. You will run into crab snakes here, so be careful. As we drop down, directly below us is the gassy base. There's a multi-purpose room here where you can scan, an observatory, ultra high capacity tank, double bed, lots of wreckage that spawns around it randomly, and a water filtration unit. There's a plant that hangs from the ceiling and if it touches you, it will poison you and potentially kill you. So be careful.
Now that you have all the blueprints you need to really start building a fantastic base, click this video to go over all the basics of base building.